The Texas House handed Governor Abbott a major loss, killing a proposal to use taxpayer dollars to help people pay for private school. But the governor has threatened to keep calling lawmakers back until they give him what he wants. Fox Sports' Blake Hansen joining us with today's developments. Blake. Yeah, Heather, the coalition of mostly rural Republicans and Democrats in the House have been the biggest hurdle for voucher supporters to overcome. Governor Abbott has been trying to push this along for the last several months. He has been silent since today's fee, uh, defeat, but previously signaled that he would keep pushing. I look forward to uh, having this debate with you today. The day finally came for the Texas House to hash it out over a school voucher plan to let families use taxpayer dollars to help pay tuition for private and religious schools. A plan supporters argue fosters competition and gives students more choices. There are Texas families, to no fault of anyone, who things just aren't working. Maybe a child with special needs, they may be a child that uh, is being bullied. There may be a child that for some reason, that experience is just not serving them well. But critics have argued it would hurt public schools and direct public monies to unaccountable private entities. Rural Republicans also say it wouldn't benefit their districts where there are few or no private options. Is this the conservative thing to do, to create another entitlement program? In effect, to create a third education system. With the governor's past efforts to squeeze the so-called education saving plans through the House unsuccessful, lawmakers lumped them and school funding together for this fourth special session. But as the bill made it to the floor early Friday, some Republicans introduced an amendment to strip them out. It sparked heated debate. ESAs don't help my district. They don't help the state. ESAs certainly do not have, help the 5.4 million public school students. So if a school district has boys in the girls' locker room, which they can do, and I disagree with that policy, then you're telling me that those parents are locked into that school district. 21 Republicans ultimately joined Democrats in approving the amendment that gutted the voucher plan from the bill. The vote, 84 to 63. It leaves the school funding bill as a whole essentially dead. Any legislation would have to clear the Senate, which has been on the governor's side of the issue. And earlier this month, Governor Abbott threatened to veto legislation if it didn't include his priority, saying he would just bring back lawmakers again and again. We'd be spending... Uh, December here, maybe January here, maybe February here. And I know one thing about both the House and Senate, they want to get out of here. Democrats late Friday say they'll keep blocking any school bill that includes vouchers. And we'll come back whether it's the fourth special or the 40th special That's to right. fight for our kids. <laughs> Governor Abbott did not respond to our request for comment tonight. The Association of Texas Professional Educators said in a statement that it is time to stop wasting taxpayer dollars in special sessions, and instead it wants lawmakers to focus on funding, increasing that funding for public schools.